So we are on it again. So today we'll be looking at uh, statistical inference to estimation that is finding the expected or the estimated value. Okay. Finding the estimated value by method of what? Maximum likelihood. So that is what I'm looking at today. So by method of maximum likelihood, I like I said, it's very simple. So you just look at uh, what I'll be explaining those steps on how to get it by method of maximum likelihood. So now, for example, this question that said, consider the geometric distribution f of this, f of x equal to this, or x equal to this, 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 that. Find the maximum likelihood estimator for p when a, when a said what? Well, only one experiment is performed, p n experiments was are performed. So that is something I normally say. The first step you have to know of this is that you have to state your what? Distribution function. So you have been given this already. That's the first step. So step one, the first step, let's go to solution. The fact we're giving what f of x is equal to what p q x minus one. So that is the most important thing, very important thing we have here now. So if you are given this f x equal to p q x minus one, the next thing is that uh, you know that I can rewrite this to be in this form. Hope you know. In a form, which form is that? Q is what one minus p, right? One minus p. Yeah, this x minus 1. So that's the first thing. But then, that is if you, can, if you just express it, if you know the distribution function. This is the distribution function. So the next thing now you need to take what we call the likelihood function. The likelihood function, remember, you know it as what? LP equal to what? All these things. But what likelihood function means is that what? You multiply it by a constant. And that constant is what? I i equal to 1 to n. You want to write into what? This p 1 minus p what? x minus 1. So, first of all, if you are given a question on by method of maximum likelihood, please just note the distribution that you are given. Geometric distribution. But here, we were given, it was easy that they made it for us. They just gave us the distribution function. But in case you are not given distribution function, you have to know the distribution function yourself. So now, we have expressed it in this form now which is step one. The first step is this. Now, if you multiply this constant by, let's say, uh, a, very, a, a variable, because there are two things now. If you multiply constant by a constant, it only add what n to it. But when you multiply constant by a variable like x, it adds what to it? Summation. So now, let's say p now, what is p? Is p a variable? Or a constant. Okay, now let's say if we do this now, what's it going to what are we going to have in P? It's going to be what? P to power what? You know P is having one here. So if it multiply this constant, it becomes what? N. It adds N to it. But then we have this to the N, then into what? 1 minus this is still 1 minus P. Have it? So when it goes into this place, what happens? Now, it gives this guy what? Summation x, because x is a variable. And it gives this guy what? n. So now you have this to be the uh, likelihood function. Now, the likelihood function is simply what? p n, then 1 minus p, summation x minus n. It was summation x because this guy is a variable, but this guy is a constant. So now, this step 2, now say, what is step 2? Can you say remember? After taking the likelihood function, step 2 is what? Uh, you take the log. When you take the log, that is lean L of P, that is lean of the what? Likelihood function is equal to what? If you take lean this now, lean P N, if you want to put lean in this thing now, what does it become? N will come to this side. That is what? N what? Lean P. You understand? So now if I want to take this guy, because of it is lean, I have it to be plus. Uh, but now look at something. I know you may be saying what's happening here now. Look at. If it is something of this nature, let's say I have what uh, let's say lean A plus lean B. How do you think I can express this now? Huh? If I'm expressing this, let's say it has a let's say x and this is y. It's going to be this guy alone is going to be what? A to x, huh? then multiplied by b to what? Y. But whenever it is something like let's say lean. A minus 
y name b. What do we have? This guy is same as saying what? Lane a to x. Are you getting it now? Yes. Because it's not having x now. Minus what? Lane b to y. I'll put it back with lane a to what? What I have? a to x over what? b to y. Right. So this is what I'm going to have. So that's how to express it. So this guy will take from plus to, you have the multiplication here, but this guy, what is negative? It becomes what? Division. So that is what happens here. Here was the multiplication, so it goes down to what? Addition. Multiplication goes down to what? Addition. So that is the form math we use now. So, continue from here now. We have, if I'm taking the of this guy, what does it become? The power will come down. It will be what? X minus what? Is this? Okay, look at it here. Look at what I say here. This one. It's got summation x minus n. Then what? Lin 1 minus what? P. So that is what we have. So after that, the method of maximum likelihood function, step 3 said we should do something. We should differentiate it partially. Right? With respect to what? What do they give us to do? With respect to something. They said, consider the geometric distribution base. For x for the base, find the MLE for P. So that means you are partially differentiating with respect to what? P. So that if you differentiate this guy with respect to P, MLE and P will give you what? You have N over what? P. P. That is it. Plus, now look at this other one. Lay this guy, whatever I say, if you differentiate lean of this, it will give you what? 1 over that thing. So, lean of this will be what? 1 over everything here. So, this guy will still be there at the top. Because if on a normal day we do a normal differentiation, if I just we could say we should go through normal differentiation, you see that this guy says it's not having anything B, it will be 0. If you keep this constant, it will be 0. 0, okay, if you keep this constant, differentiate this, it will work. Uh, I mean, but if you not keep this constant, differentiate this, it will be 0. 0 times that thing you kept constant, it will be 0. So that is what we use only what? It will not be what? Summation x minus n what over what? 1 minus b. So the next thing said we should what? Equate it to what? 0. Step 4 said equate it to 0 and then simplify. So we are going to have that what? n by b plus summation x minus n over 1 minus p is equal to what? 0. So from here, we can find the LCM here. So when we find the LCM, it becomes p into 1 minus p. This is what I'm doing here. This is p into 1 minus p. Now p into this guy is going to be what? It will be left with this guy. Because p will cancel this, it will be left with this. So it will not be this multiplied by this. That is what? n into 1 minus p plus this into this, this will go, it will remain p. It becomes what? p into summation x minus what? n equal what? 0. If I cross multiply, this guy goes to 0. You understand? So that from here, if we know that this guy goes to 0, we now have the what? n into 1 minus p plus p into summation what? x minus n is equal to what? 0. So, what are we interested in finding here? P. P. So how do we find our P from here? You know we can expand this to your N minus N P. Are we? Into what? What do we have? P summation X minus what? N P is equal to? Zero. So now look at something. You know that when we differentiated this guy, the P, the negative will come out. Hope you know. It's supposed to be negative here. The negative will come out. When we differentiate the b, it's supposed to be negative will come out. So this is supposed to be negative here. This is supposed to be negative here. So why do we get that negative? Now look at let me now let's not do it so that of course understand it. Let's say summation x minus n. Now look at lay 1 minus p. So we keep this constant. That's summation x minus what? N. Differentiate this guy with respect to p. It will be what? You will have it to be what? Minus 1 minus p. Because if you come to differentiate only this guy, you can say let u equal to 1 minus p. Then du, d whatever, any variable. Okay, d, du dp now is going to be what? 
Differential P here yeah, is going to be what? Minus 1. So that is why that minus came to play. That must be minus 1. So that we can be able to find by method of one form like you would a correct estimated value. So now look at this. We have this now. Let's write it again. Let's write what this will be what? This is minus out here now. So have this be n into 1 minus p. Then what we have? Minus p into solution x minus n equals 0. This is n minus what? P. N p minus what? P solution x plus what? N p equal to so that this guy will go minus n p cancel positive n p. So now what we have n minus p summation x equal to zero. So get your p minus p summation x equal to take this it becomes negative n. Are we? Yes. What is our p? Is equal to minus n divided by minus summation x. This goes. So what we have to be our p? N by summation x. You know that summation x is the same as, sorry, you know that summation x over n is the same as what? x bar. That is the b. Have you? So it is the same as x bar. But now, since it is now upside down, it is the same as what? When you have it to be upside down, that is uh, n over summation x, that is equal to 1 over x bar. So it is the same as saying we are having what? 1 over what? x bar. So that becomes what? Our m is now L. That is the maximum likelihood function for this uh, uh, geometric distribution. So now we are told that what? When the A said only one experiment is performed. So if it is only one experiment performed, look at this, just how to answer the question. A said when only one experiment is performed. Now we we'll come back to this the way it is now. If it is one experiment, N represents the number of experiments. Do you get it now? So if it is one experiment, it becomes what? 1 over summation x. You understand? Then what if it is what? N experiments. N experiments. What do you have? N over summation x. And that is the final answer. So that is how to find the my, uh, the, the estimated value by method of maximum likelihood. So that is it. So we'll move to 